Concord Carlisle teacher, who is an assistant coach for the U.N. South football team, has been fired from his coaching job and suspended from teaching after players say he used a racial slur. The coach allegedly used the slur while addressing athletes after the game. WBZ Sydney Maldonado has more tonight. That assistant football coach will no longer be working with the Newton South football team. Both parents and students we spoke with supporting the school district's decision. I think it's a shame uh, given all that's going on right now. An assistant football coach at Newton South was fired this weekend. Sources tell us players reported he used a racial slur to describe music he didn't want them playing on the team bus. The Newton School District releasing a statement saying it is particularly devastating in this case for this language to have come from a coach, a person charged with mentoring our students. I know a lot of friends on the team. I've gone to a lot of their games and I just like hoping that um, all of them are okay. I want to say, like, frustrated and uh, sympathetic for the players who were, like, around in the, during the incident. The coach, also a teacher at Concord Carlisle High School, where he has been placed on paid leave pending an investigation. The superintendent saying, in part, we continue to value inclusion and strive to create a safe, welcoming, and respectful environment for all. Back at Newton South, Amy Liberman is the parent of two students and, like many others, is applauding the district's decision to let the coach go. Yeah, I was really glad to see that the school took really swift action, that they are not going to tolerate any kind of racist behavior, and that's what I want to see from my school leaders. It sets the right tone. It's, we're role modeling the culture that we would like in our school, and I, I think they did the right thing. The Newton School District says they will be working with students impacted by this incident and add they have zero tolerance for racism or racist language in their schools. In Newton, Sonia Maldonado, WBZ News.